Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with another UE4 tutorial. In this episode, we will continue on our VR game. So, um, today we will focus on the VR character. For that, of course, we have to create the base class for the VR character, and that is what we are going to do now. Let's say a new class. We are going to use uh, the pawn as a base class, not the character, um, because we just want to be quite simple, so we don't need any f big features for this project. Say next, and let's give a name. My pawn is okay. Now it's compiling the code. Uh, you might wonder that hot reload works here on my uh, GNUC system. If you need that feature, um, I will put the link uh, below uh, to the pull request I made um, that will enable on Linux the hot reload function. Uh, Windows users and Mac users, they don't have to worry about this. So it, it works for a long time. So here's now our pawn class and we should start populating it. So the first thing we will need is a camera. Let's add the camera. For that we say first you property and then visible anywhere and blueprint read only is sufficient. We don't need anything else. Then you camera component, let's call this camera. Um, then we need, what do we need? So we need the two motion controller. Uh, blueprint read only, you motion controller component, uh, one for left motion controller and let's just copy this and then one right motion controller and the next what we need is maybe two meshes that represent the motion controller so we can attach some something visible uh, let's say a static mesh is okay. You static mesh component, left hand, and um, right hand. So now because I forgot the declaration of those, so we would get some compile errors. Let's put it in front of the declarations as it is used in the Unreal Engine the whole time. Or you could just write uh, this in uh, this section here. Oops, like, sorry. Uh, a forward declaration then we don't have to include the header files for those here but that's a topic of C++ and we're not going into that right now so we have a camera left right motion called controller and then static mesh to attach to that uh, and I forgot here we need uh, a, a use scene component Scene. So now let's start populating them. Create default sub object. You scene component. Let's call this scene. Then we had the camera. Create. Uh, let's copy this. You camera component, say camera, 
then we had the left motion controller U motion controller component then the right one then left hand U static mesh component left hand and the right hand right hand so okay now the camera and everything should be attached to the scene Let's do the setup attachment. Then the motion control is the same. Uh, scene and the left hand. goes to the left motion controller and the right hand oops to the right motion controller so and here we should do some include files for example for the uh, components scene component then components I forgot where the camera was uh, let's do the motion the oops and static mesh component the motion controller is in another header file but i will just let's check the name go to declaration motion controller component motion controller component and this one we have to add here head mounted display if I remember correct and then the camera it's in hmm, camera camera component So let's try to compile. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's talk about the U property specifier I used here. Um, so visible anywhere is actually useful in combination with uh, uh, with uh, uh, components um, that makes the uh, the the properties visible inside the details panel and so you can modify it and blueprint read only means in this case that we can access this uh, variable inside the blueprint level so if we want to program some logic in the blueprint uh, window so so that seemed to work it hot reloaded and this is our c++ class let's create uh, the blueprint version out of it my pawn 
and so here's the camera left motion controller right nice this is the scene um, and this is the left hand attached to the uh, left motion controller and right hand so um, maybe we shouldn't do too much for this episode so we have the base of our uh, pawn class in the next we will continue uh, setting the fine details and use the first time our uh, VR controller so I am going to use a HTC Vive and yeah so um, thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode